Well, hello everyone. It's uh, December 30th. The wife and I and both dogs are out here again to uh, ring in the new year. Last year was minus 54, I think, with the wind. It's uh, 32, I think I said, 32 degrees warmer this year, so it's pretty nice. Uh, we're gonna be setting up the Davis tent again and uh, spending a few days out in the bush. But uh, we've had a lot of snow. <laughs> It's been pretty sketchy to get here, honestly. I probably almost got stuck a few times. We're gonna get set up, get the heat on before the truck gets shut off kind of thing. And and uh, we're probably gonna get most of the setup done. It's so dark out here um, that uh, you're not gonna see much anyways. Uh, Truckload of gear there. Look, I got you. Good boy. Come on, Birch. Come on, bud. Good boy. Good girl. Oh, nice job, hon. This is plenty oh, big enough. We're only going to sit a certain way, maybe. Yep. I can't really sit on the other side. Oh. Nope. We're just getting squared away inside. And uh, while I was doing some single person kind of work only, the wife was making a big dog trail. It's too deep for the dogs to run around in and be comfortable, so. And then it goes over to the fire pit. Oh, Birch is out. <laughs> so that's the fire pit right there. But she made a path going that way around the tent. She made a path all the way over there going back to the fire pit. Little, little roundabout thing here. So, and this is why. Is too deep. He's still a puppy. He's only four months old. His name is Birch. He is a boxer cross with the bulldog. So he's my new my new adventure buddy. All right. There we go. We are all set up. Oh my boy. Yeah. He tucked his nose in. Well, we just got the radio going. We just kind of got settled in. Everything's somewhat set up. Um, I just put out the thermometers, all the sensors and everything. So we're waiting for all the temperatures to settle down. But right now it's 20 degrees at the ceiling, 16 degrees, basically waist height, 16.8, and 11.5 on the floor. I'm going to try and move this fan over there. Got this little USB rechargeable fan, and I'm gonna try and move it over on top of where Birch's bed is. I fully anticipate he would be sleeping with me in my sleeping bag, or at least on my bed. Um, but I figured I'd set his bed up in here and, and see how warm it is or how cold it is, and see if we can, you know, make it comfortable for him down there. But it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. So we're going to cook something up here right away, cook up some supper, just a cup of soup I think, and uh, just chill for the rest of the night, but you know our main focus right now is figuring out the temperatures, making sure it's not going to be too cold or whatever for the dogs. Um, we did this last year and we ended up having to pack up the next morning. Well, you guys can hear the truck running, we decided that... Uh, even though we were okay, uh, we don't think it's fair to the dogs to be in this uh, in this weather. They were both wrapped up and both warm underneath their blankets, but they're uh, they're basically just bound to being wrapped up in a blanket. So what we're gonna do? Oh, you look cold, baby girl. Uh, we're gonna pack up. We had a nice night out here. We had a fire, and uh, we're just gonna pack up. And we're going to go to the cabin and ring in the new year there.
give you a bit of a tour of the place now that it's a bit lighter out. So we've got in this corner the stove. Got the Aim Tom battery bank there. Got a bunch of stuff charging up. And then got my bed, and that's the Coleman stove we're just warming up right now. All the gears underneath. There's Birch's bed. And Nika's on it right now. And this is the wife's bed. So they're both the Tetan or Teton, I'm not sure how to say it, but they're the XXL. 45 inches wide or something like that. Way too big for me. I was I was all over the place on there. Birch. Birch. What are you doing, bud? What are you doing? <laughs> and then of course we've got the kitchen. And the coolers and that's pretty much it. I'll show you what we got going on here with this new stove. Oh. oh, there we go. So, this is the new Coleman stove I got for Christmas. Comes with that grill. So, I've just got the grill part, the oven sitting on top of the grill part. But, yeah, that's, that's it. And if it definitely got up to temp a lot quicker than it did on the new way stove. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, it's an oven in there. There we go. Crisp them up. Hi, what you doing? Well, this is our breakfast. You've already had yours. That's good. Hey, we're not going in the truck. No. <laughs> I know you're shivering. You gotta run. Go play. Okay. There you go. She's eating ham right now. Oh, they're having a great time. What you guys doing? You playing? Hey? You getting cold, Birch? You getting cold? Yeah, you guys want to go in? Yeah, okay. Alright. <laughs> She's on her way back. With a tree. She pulled out from across the lake. <laughs> that just got dragged a long way, that tree. <laughs> right on. Well, time to get splitting. Hopefully, uh, it's not too wet. Well, got some wood processed. It's not a huge stack, but it'll do for now. Ah. Whew. 
so I forgot the pasta. <laughs> we were supposed to have uh, just pasta with smokies, kind of like macaroni. Um, I forgot that. All I brought was the stuff for the soup. So we're just going to have normal soup. And what are we going to put in the soup? Nothing. Veggies. Veggies. It's going to be a... Broth. Chicken or turkey vegetable soup. There we go. So we're going to eat this now for lunch. I'm just going to get these diced up. I guess I should get the pasta water going. Get the water going. Mm -mm. You don't get any of this birch. Nope. Good boy. That's oh. a lot of smoke. <laughs> it is a lot. Happy New Year, everyone. We, uh, it just got dark. It's not midnight yet, but we're going to get set up here to cook up some appetizers and just have a nice night in the tent. And I think we're going to probably watch a movie as well. But uh, I figured we'd deck out the tent with some lights this year. Well, we got the oven on the go, again, and uh, it's probably closer to 7 now, I think we, maybe 6.30, something like that. It is New Year's Eve, and we're out, obviously winter camping, but our supper tonight is appetizers. So we brought a bunch of, like, stuffed mushrooms, and jumbo shrimp, and brie tarts, and we got jalapeno poppers, and... We got a uh, bag of wings. So we are going to... Bacon wrapped chicken pieces. Oh yeah, bacon wrapped chicken. So we're just going to do a little bit of snacks. We're going to do little batches of a little bit of everything. And then, or what can go in at the same time, I guess. And then we'll just keep doing tray after tray after tray. And uh, until we're full. So here, I'll take you outside. I had to turn the stove down. You did a fantastic job cooking breakfast this morning, so... Yeah, that worked good. Oh, we are at four and a quarter. So I need to turn that down just a touch. Yeah, I took a picture of kind of everything we have and it's cook time and temperature and we've got some of these sauces we've had from over the years. And uh, yeah, we're just going to do small little trays like that, have a couple bites, take a break, and load up a new tray. Oh. Okay. Oops. There we go. Oh. I don't know. They look pretty good. I think they're done. Oh yeah. Put a new batch of something on. Okay, that looks good, right? And yeah. what are we at? We need to be at four and a quarter. Well, it's looking good. Oh. All right. Here you are. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Next batch. Spring rolls, popcorn, shrimp, and cheese bites. There you go. All right, what's next? My bag closed on me. 
I want to give us what each two, I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> and then leave room for your bacon wrapped chicken. Okay. Good. And those look good. They seem quite crispy. Yeah, I don't think I want to put them on any longer. I think they're done. I guess we'll just put these on while we eat our wings. You doing them all? Yep. I am doing them all. Look at these. They smell like they're covered in brown sugar. <laughs> Oh, they do. Bacon wrapped chicken something or others. All this, by the way, is from uh, M&M Meats or M&M Food Market now, I guess it is. Not quite all of it. Oh yeah, homemade mushrooms Neptune and homemade brie tart things. For tonight, I cannot eat any more. Oh, so what do we got with this one? Homemade mushrooms Neptune. Another pork bite things. And jalapeno shooters. Bacon wrapped jalapeno shooters. Did you want uh, some pork? Right now? Three, please. Three? There you go. We'll save the rest, eat it up tomorrow. Or pick away at it tonight. Oh, well. Supper's done, it was an appetizer night. When did we start that? Well, after we fed dogs, so I would say... 6.30? 6.37. So 6.30 to, what time is it now? Gotta be nine. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yep. Nine o'clock. So 639, just small tray after small tray. Super full, it was really good. The oven worked great, the stove worked awesome. And uh, we got another little treat for tonight. So we have three different champagnes to try. This is the real one. This is actually made from champagne. Uh, in Champagne, I should say. But uh, we're going to try this one. It's uh, Charles Heidsick. I don't know. And this is another Champagne, Martini brand. That's the sparkling wine one. Okay. And then we got this little guy. What's a glass bottle? Yeah. Fricks in it. It's no idea. Anyways, I figured we'd do a champagne testing. Did you bring strawberries? <laughs> no. <laughs> we'll try them in an hour. At 10 o'clock, we'll have a taste of champagne. We'll try one an hour starting at 10. And we're not going to drink all of any of it, so. We've got, uh, what are they, rebottle cap things to put on them? Cork sealer things. So, in an hour, we'll uh, try our first champagne. And then our last one will be at midnight. Okay. Well, we're going to do a champagne here. Oh, there it is. It's going. It's going. <laughs> No, you're not doing that inside. Nope. This is sparkling wine. Yeah. It's fizzy like champagne. There we go. Let's try it out. You gotta have some. Oh, it smells good, right? Happy pre New Year. Happy 10 o'clock New Year. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> That's popped off a champagne bottle for the first time. Definitely not much of a champagne drinker, but this is actually not too bad. This is fake stuff. Sparkling wine champagne, but 
I predict that's the best one of the night. Okay, it's 10.58, so we're almost at the 11 o'clock hour. Nope, no cork on this one. Aww. Well, that was a good... Oh, look at it go! <laughs> hey, what's those lights? Oh, jeeps. Jeeps are coming through the bush. Ooh, bubbly. Okay. Happy 11 o'clock. Happy 11 o'clock. I see that. See? That's what I'm talking about. Oh. Gross yeast. <laughs> That's not a good one. <laughs> They're just getting worse. <laughs> okay, back inside we go. All right. 11.50. December 31st, New Year's Eve. We probably have nine minutes left. This is the last bottle for the night. This one, I don't know if you can read that, but this is apparently the real champagne. So, oh boy. <clears throat> this is a, we wanted to try it. This year we were gonna do a, a champagne, um, Oh, right in the eye, really? Payback! <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, we're doing a champagne tasting evening. We've done our appetizer evening. Uh, we're doing champagne now. And uh, this one's a real champagne. So, the first bottle was probably the cheapest for the volume. And it was great. Second bottle, tiniest bottle, not so good. I'm expecting this to be terrible. <laughs> if if we're getting closer to a real champagne as we go, this should be disgusting. But we're gonna try it out. <clears throat> so let's go outside and uh, get the cork out of it. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! <laughs> I had a different pop. Yeah, I did. Happy New Year! Happy New Year. Did I blind you that time? Oh, it's really frothy. I'm <laughs> noticing that's a difference, too. There's fireworks going off somewhere. 2023, ringing in the new year, winter camping. Doesn't get any better than that. Okay, let's see how terrible this is. It's okay, Nika. Here you go. Happy New Year. Cheers. No. That's <laughs> garbage. That's gasoline. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> That's so bad. That is so bad. Why do people drink this? It's like... It smells like aquarium water. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Uh uh. No. <laughs> That's disgusting. <coughs> oh. That martini bottle oh, is the best. Sparkling wine wins. <laughs> oh, that is terrible. Well, as expected, we got worse as the night went on. Yuck. Happy New Year, everyone. We're gonna call it a night. See you in the morning. Oh. Well, we're having scrambled eggs and ham for breakfast. We got up, I think it was 8.30. Didn't go to bed till two. So we're just having coffee and breakfast and these dogs are all super ramped up, so we're gonna have to take them outside and burn off some energy. So this is how we're spending our New Year's afternoon-ish, I guess. Bart! We have a couple of guys who came out, looks like a Honda Ridgeline. And they tried to turn around. They got stuck, so Derek is attempting to pull them out, and we sure hope that he does not get stuck. 
So all of our stuff is on hold at the moment. Um, dogs are inside. I don't know how long this is going to go. Well, he's trying again a little bit from the front. We're really hoping we don't get stuck. Oops. Hey guys, let's go. Let's go for a walk. Hey. It's still like, almost like a fog in the air, hey? It's that frost or whatever. You can see it, it's like hazy. Might be a bit warm. Ah, what? Hot water feels real good. Oh. As long as this keeps burning, we won't. Yeah. That's the nice stuff we got. Come here, bud. There you go. Hey, okay, there you go. You just lay down. Well, Birch didn't make it. We uh, we got out there, we set up all the chairs, got the fire going, and uh, he wasn't having any of it. He was way too cold. He even wrapped in a blanket with my my hands on him to keep him warm like it was warm inside the blanket but he must have still been cold so he's now let's see if I can show you here <laughs> he's sleeping right by the stove oh, how's my hair look <laughs> morning everyone well, it's windy out there. Birch laid on the on the ground bed for quite a bit of last night. He got too hot, so that's good. Okay. Oh, it's okay, bud. Yeah, we're just gonna uh, cook up some hot water and make a coffee, and then uh, kind of start collecting our stuff in here and pack up. Well, everyone, we're packed up. See the truck? It's loaded. And our campsite behind us, you can see the footprint. Fire pit still has a lot of wood for the next, next group, next person, next whatever. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.